Hello guys. Do you own a business or now planning to? If yes, then you probably need a business letterhead. Wait, if you don't know what a business letterhead is, I'll show you in a minute. So open Google and search why business letterheads are important or what is a business letterhead. Now on your results, you realize it represents a, a company and it can also give first impressions on your potential customers. All right. So it is very important in every business. Now there are several places where business letterheads could be used and there are simple details that appear on a business letterhead to represent your company. Okay. So let's get the basic details of a business letterhead, which represents our company and our clear goal. Okay. So we have the name, your logo, your contact, your address, and your website. Okay, so that's the basic details of a business letterhead. Now that we have our basics, let's open Canva and search a business letterhead. Okay, so we are going to create a blank file and set the background and design everything from scratch. So what we are going to do is quickly name our folder or our design at the top here. All right, then we can set the background. But this design I'm using the white background because that's the color I want to use for the business letterhead. Remember to keep it simple. Okay. Now I'm going to add something as a watermark in the center. All right. So you can also do that from the elements tab. Just add something to as a watermark or leave it blank if it is not needed. For this design, I'm going to use the Africa because it represents the company I'm designing it for. Okay. So I'm going to position it in the center and I'll reduce the opacity a little bit so that it becomes somehow transparent and not too visible on my design. Then I'm going to upload my images and logos of my company. Then I will create my letter head, the head and also the down of my letter okay so you have to create the head which is let's say the top part of your letter and also the bottom part of your letter so you can place the websites and your email contacts at the bottom of your letter head all right then i'll upload my logo and position it at the top there okay so as you can see i have my logo on top of the shape i placed at the top okay with my company colors all right so the company colors are blue and orange so you can see i have my deep blue and also my orange color inside my design remember to keep the design clean and consistent do not use more than three colors or do not use colors that don't represent your company. So if your company uses three colors, remember to use only three colors and make sure it is consistent. Okay. So I'm going to press T for tests, right? Then I'll add my company name and the details I need to add. Okay. So I'll quickly do that. Let me quickly do that. All right, and I'll change the test to match my design. Remember, it should be clear and visible. It should represent your company. So it shouldn't be too difficult or it shouldn't be too clustered. All right. So I'm going to resize it and position it well. And I'll quickly add all the other information I need on the letterhead. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add some graphics to it, some other elements to it, some icons to represent the home button and the location, the website, and some other important details which should appear on the business letterhead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly add them and position them right where I want them. Okay, remember you can position them at the top 
or at the bottom of your business letterhead. So I'm going to do that quickly. So you can see I've positioned my address at the top, my address details at the top, and I have my website and my email at the bottom of my letter. Okay. Now the other important part is the dignitary issuing the letterhead on your behalf. Okay, in my case, I'm just going to use the CEO and the founder of the organization I'm creating the business letterhead for. In your, it could differ on your case. So remember to include the dignity you are using, who is going to issue the letter for. Or better still, just leave it blank so that it can be filled by any person who is issuing the letter on behalf of the company. Okay, then you're going to include a signature. So this part represents the signature. You can include your digital signature or upload your signature over here. Remember, it should be transparent and it should be editable. Okay. Now our letterhead is ready. So let's view our letterhead. All right. So this is a business letterhead. Now there are many places you could use a business letterhead. So you could search on Google places where a business letterhead is important okay all right guys so this brings us to the end of our tutorial if you like this tutorial please give me a like and comment down in the comment section and also a follow and share with your friends and family all right thank you i have other videos you can check them out see you next time hope you have a nice day bye bye